Well, hello everyone, Texy88 here and welcome to another review. And now I'm looking at Vigilante for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. US Gold, oh dear, brought the game out in 1989. And uh, it's a scrolling beat em up from what I can make out. And the, it's set in New York in 1994, so it was actually set in the future at the time. The police do not dare not patrol the streets. The army cannot control the city. Law and order no longer exists when street gangs dominate a city, when ordinary citizens no longer defend themselves with fear, and when law enforcement agencies are powerless to help. Your last chance is vigilante. This time it's war. So uh, let's I'll select keyboard. Now I see that there's an actual colour or monochrome option at the bottom there, so I'll keep the colour on just to see what it's like. Right. The skinheads have taken Madonna hostage. I hope they can get into the groove then. Take the power into your own hands. Stage one ready. Well, first thing I've noticed is the uh, is the graphics are quite uh, quite colourful, and so I've noticed. And this does remind me of something. What does it remind me of? I mean, you get people. It's a it's a left and right scrolling beat 'em up. You get enemies coming at you. They drain your energy if they get close to you. Hmm, what does that remind you of? If you said Kung Fu Master, then you're absolutely right. off me. Yep, this is basically Kung Fu Master all over again. The only difference is, isn't it, you know, the, the colour is a bit more bearable than it was in the, the appalling Spectrum port. Are oh, you kidding me? You can't even skip this? One big problem with this is uh, the, if the, if you get completely surrounded on both sides, it's very easy for the enemies to drain your energy and you die. I mean, if you look, I've lost about a third of my energy already. God, these bullets don't have to take off a lot of damage. I'm nearly dead already. I mean, graphics are okay, I suppose. They, they just don't look that great, really. I mean, if you look at, say, Renegade, Target Renegade, the graphics in that look quite a bit better than they do in this. Ooh, I picked up some nunchakus. Oh, balls. I've lost them. Ooh, kinky shop to the right there by the looks of things. 
Oh, blooming hell, I had to come face to face with the guy who had a gun. This isn't exactly the most interesting game on the planet, even for its time. I mean, Kung Fu Master in the arcade did this a lot better. The less said about the woeful Spectrum port, the better. Anyone, In fact, my, <clears throat> my very first of this string of reviews that I've been doing on YouTube uh, is, was actually Kung Fu Master on the Spectrum. And God almighty, it was pretty bad. Another thing I don't like about the control system in this game is it's a shame you can't press fire just by itself to get an attacking move. You actually have to press a direction. It would have been... I mean, even in Kung Fu Master on the Spectrum, the... the you... I mean, I have to admit, I am sort of impressed with the amount of colour they managed to pit in with... God, just in the nick of time there. Yeah, so the sprites are more functional than, than particularly well drawn, I have to admit. And the animation's a bit choppy. But at least the... At least the height... At least the kick in this actually looks more like a... Like a proper martial arts kick, not like the kick that you got in... See that kick there? At least that actually looked like a martial arts kick the, compared to the one that the Spectrum... The you know, Spectrum conversion of Kung Fu Master got, in which, it, in which it, I, I don't even know what it was supposed to look like, but it, 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 it would look crappy whichever way you look at it. Come on. Whack him with you and then chuck Of course, he just goes just out of range, so I can't hit him. See, look at this, you just get um, absolutely lambasted from both sides at the same time, a lot, a lot of the time, like this, and you have to hope you don't get whacked while it's happening. This really isn't very interesting. Oh god, I'm running out of time. I just can't get anywhere. There are just too many enemies. I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of hits you have to, to, to do on the... See, I've only got 16 time units left. Oh. Come on. This is ridiculous. I'm, I haven't been able to move for a while because I'm just getting absolutely... It takes way too many hits to hit anyone. I mean, you get a fair few combat moves, but... Let me move on. This is ridiculous. I've been here for se for several for several minutes, and I can't get anywhere. Oh God! There is a bit of a delay between um, between you actually doing a, a maneuver and the actual uh, action happening on screen, which also doesn't help. Oh, you bastard! I am not liking this. Well, at least I actually was able to type that in. I didn't have to do that. I do the scrolling like you do on. Well, before I do end this review, I'm going to try what and see what the mono version looks like. So I've, I've turned off the color so to see what it's like. To see which one I prefer amongst other things. Oh dear, not exactly easy on the eyes. I mean, I can see what's going on, but it's just... I 
mean, look at this. If this happens far too often, where you get two people either side of you just just hanging on to you like a bad smell. And look how look how jerky it is when they advance towards you. Why can't that happen smoothly? In the case of the backgrounds, I could understand that because because there would have been a lot of um, a lot of bad color clash, but. For the sprites, which don't actually have any colour attached to them at all, even in even if you got the colour turned on, it just seemed a bit silly, and just looks really choppy. I mean, look at this; it's ridiculous. I'm whacking these guys with a blooming nunchaku. And yet they can still keep coming and coming and coming. This is actually a, a coin-op conversion of an Irem coin, um, uh, arcade game. This is so endearing, I can hardly contain myself. Oh, here we go again. This is where I just get absolutely spammed with enemies need endlessly, and I can't get anywhere because it takes too bloody long to beat everyone up. See, look at this. You just can't get anywhere because everyone, you, you just get... Oh, I actually think we might, might have got somewhere this time. And yeah, look, last go, I couldn't bloody get anywhere. Oh, here we go, this is going to be fun. Is this all I have to do, just say duck and keep attacking his feet? Because that guy firing his gun can't even touch me while I'm ducked. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that is literally all I had to do. I just stay, stay ducked down and repeatedly whack him with uh, whack his feet, and uh, and he, and the guy that was, that was shooting at me, his bullets kept passing harmlessly over my head, and. And the other guy barely did anything to me. I mean, at least it's not completely silent, but I would have preferred it if there could have been... Oh, God. The controls are not exactly the most responsive in the world. I really, really wish that it could have had, could have had, an ins it could have had a control where you literally just press fire by itself to to do an attacking manoeuvre. Like was the case in Kung Fu Master. I mean, as bad as that, as bad as that spectrum conversion of Kung Fu Master is, at least you could do that and it made it a bit more bearable. The, the, the control system a bit more bearable than it might otherwise have been. Oh, I've got my nunchaku again. It just takes way too long to beat everyone up. I mean, even these also rounds seem to take almost as long as the bosses at times. So you look how choppy it is when they advance towards you. Can't it, why wasn't it smooth? I mean, even in Kung Fu Master, that was smooth. They just needed to get rid of the colour so there wouldn't have been so much clash. Part of me wishes I could have got to the um, to this stage while I was had the colour option turned on because it would have been interesting to see what this would have looked like not in monochrome. Oh my goodness, this is so drab. I've played worse, admittedly. I mean, if I had the choice between this and Kung Fu Master on the spectrum, then then this would, this would win every time. It's a little more enjoyable, but not much.
I mean, the animation's okay. It's just a, it's just not as good as I think it could have been. So, oh God, I was absolutely getting hammered there. Oh, here we go. Is this going to be another case where I can just beat him like this? Well, maybe not quite the same way, but... He's barely even touching me half the time. I'm just kicking his head in, figuratively and literally. Come on, have more responsive controls. Yay, beat it. Oh dear me. Oh god. The van is heading for the bridge. Her time is running out. Why is she needing a holiday? Wasn't she able to get them to get into the groove? <laughs> what kind of a sound effect is that? I suppose, I suppose it's okay, but I, it's a spectrum. I, uh, I shouldn't really expect too much in the way of sound. Oh, damn it, I'm this time now. I should, I should really commend them for actually putting sound in and all this could just as easily been yet another Spectrum game on the 48k with absolute bugger all sound and oh god there's such a delay when you when you when you duck because it will basically do anything and it's really annoying especially when you've got a guy with a gun like that because that those bullets take off so much and blooming energy He looks like he it looks like he's sliding along the ground. Pick up the nunchaku, thank you. Ah, uh, game over, that'll do me. So that's a vigilante on the spectrum. It's a nineteen eighty nine conversion of the uh, um, the uh, I I rem arcade game of this of the same name and. And uh, for some reason, pressing shift caused it caused it to make make a comma. All I wanted to do was do a capital letter. Never mind. So graphics, some nice use of color. At least we've got the color turned on. Bit of a little bit of an eyesore when you're playing it with the, in mono mode and to. A little bit bland due to the lack, lack of colour and uh, and the, the the jerky scroll the slightly jerky scrolling is more noticeable when you've got it in monochrome because because it was uh, jerky in that way to prevent colour clash with the colour turned on. Uh, sound is okay. Um, 48k spectrum Baron wasn't really going to get much better than that. I. Gameplay. The biggest problem is Renegade and Target Renegades did this kind of thing so much better. I mean, what what's in this is it's not too bad. It, well, it's far from awful. I've played far worse than this, as I said, but this this really this really is average. I mean, the, a lot of the enemies simply take way too long to defeat even the also rans that you meet during the regular level, as opposed to the bosses. I mean, some of those enemies seem to be taking as many hits as as you'd expect from a, a boss at the end of a level to, to before they fell off, uh, before they fell to their death. I mean, this is just a. a Oh, this is essentially a reskin of Kung Fu Master with um, uh, with uh, 
you know, with a nunchucker added to it. Apart from that, there's really nothing special about the game, and it, and it really is. It really is a shame that it's ju it's just so average because uh, it could it could have been something special with a few more you know, more more varied ideas in it. I'm, I mean, there wasn't much that could be done about it because it was a because it was an arcade conversion. They they wouldn't have been allowed to change anything because the the people converting would have had to have stayed as faithful to the original as possible. So if the original arcade version wasn't much in the way of substance, then any any port, even an arcade one, is going to have exactly the same problem. So I'm going to give Vigilante on the Spectrum 6 out of 10. Basically, it's average. It's got some nice use of colour in the graphics and... Uh, and the and the and the animation's okay. Yo, know, it's just that the 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 way the sprites are drawn isn't exactly stunning. I mean, what I saw in Tar Renegade and Target Renegade was better than that. Um, and and the sound was better in in Renegade and Target Renegade as well. So it it um, it's uh, another it's uh, even for its time it's uh, a, a pretty average scrolling beat 'em up with little new to offer. As I said, it's just Kung Fu Master with a nunchaku in it. So, so hope you enjoyed that review. Catch you on another one soon. Tech the eighty eight out.